So as you may already know, there has been a lot going on lastly with Godot, which basically something like one month ago posted this on their X account or Twitter account. And well, basically a lot of people uh, was a uh, band, okay, uh, for expressing different opinions or even some of them, they say that they have been banned for literally commenting uh, nothing. And others basically decided to fork the engine, basically do um, a copy of the engine and they would start managing themselves completely separated from Godot. So should you stop using Godot? That's the question that I'm going to be trying to answer in this video. So in order to do this, I've created some slides to make every, everything uh, organized. Uh, so the first point here that we have to discuss has to do with the drama itself. Firstly, does it really annoy you what Godot did? Because remember that everything actually just started on Twitter with these two lines long text. Everything started from there. If that post um, hadn't been posted, okay, there wouldn't be, there wouldn't have happened anything. So if you deeply analyze what Godot did, what Godot posted, does it really annoy you at the point of stop using that piece of engine? I am asking you this because there, there are actually some people who literally don't care about what happened. They just think that this is something that happened on Twitter. And well, some people were banned. That's not okay. Um, some people have different ideas. That's okay. But well, at the end, it is something that basically started. And let's say that ended, if we can say that, on Twitter. Okay. But the development itself was not modified, was not uh, affected by this. But well, others, because of all this uh, bad community management, they just don't want to know anything else about Godot. So here you have to decide in which side you are or, or if you are in the middle. Then, um, well, here this is actually connected to the, to the last point. Or is it just a Twitter drama? Okay? It is just something that, well, people were there a little bit uh, in, during their free time and they started uh, commenting their things. Uh, well, maybe the community manager of Godot um, was not in the best day and started banning people in vain. Um, but well, once again, other people say, okay, yes, this is something that started in Twitter, but it is official account of God, so they shouldn't be posting that stuff. Or at least if they are posting that stuff, they shouldn't be banning people completely in vain, even developers, sponsors of God, or well, donators of God. Um, so, well, once again, here, uh, I am not going to be expressing directly my opinion. I want you to construct yours. Um, because of go of what Godot have done, would you actually change the engine you use for your projects? Because, once again, the main thing here is the fact that everything happened on Twitter. It seems that the, the development itself uh, wasn't uh, affected. It seems that the same contributors that they have, like not individual people, but actual uh, companies behind sponsoring Godot, paying Godot monthly or well, donating to Godot monthly. They are still there. They are still supporting the engine. Even a couple of days after all this drama, they released 4.4 Dev 3. So it seems that Godot is still functioning, of course. Um, but well, uh, in spite of this, some people believe that, uh, well, it is worth changing the engine because how Godot has been lastly managing the community and even others say uh, the project is it is not worth it anymore. Once again, read again all these questions and uh, build up your conclusion. Now, the second point um, that I want to discuss are alternatives. Uh, and this has to do with what I mentioned at the beginning of the videos with uh, the forks. Um, the main fork right now is Red Dot, okay? But in the last time, there have been others, uh, other forks such as Blasium, okay? So the, my question here for you is, do you believe that the forks will succeed? Because th there is a lot going on with forks. Remember that these forks and Godot itself are, uh, ISO are open source. So what happens is that, of course, managing a project of the size of Godot with no money behind, with no community behind, well, yes, a community behind, but not a, 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 a community as big as the one that Godot has. It is not an easy task. It's just the opposite. It is super challenging, daunting, and, and whatever other adjective exists for that. So a lot of people do not really believe in forks. Uh, 
understanding for uh, believing in forks the fact that maybe they just exist exist for a couple of weeks for a couple of months even but um, they are not going to be able to uh, do it through the long term they are not going to be able to keep up on the updates to keep up on the bug fixes to keep up on uh, a successful community management because uh, all these forks are completely new of course and it is understandable the fact that they have uh, no, they don't have a huge community behind, they have no money behind. It is something understandable as they have just been existing for a couple of weeks. But uh, once again, today we have to choose an engine to use, not in three months when we see what happens um, or what ends up happening. So that's also something that you have to to consider because there are lots of people that say yes but maybe in the long term a red dot blasium or other forks succeed and everything is much better than gold dot i am not i and I, I am not saying that that may not happen just the opposite it could happen as everything but for today if you do have to create um, a, a game or to continue in your project well this is these are all points that you really have to consider and also um, another alternative that could be worth it for other people is learning a brand new engine that maybe they haven't used um, completely or that maybe they have used it a little bit but not professionally or not for more complex projects. The main alternatives that I've heard that people are uh, choosing from my YouTube comments is basically Unreal Engine. Uh, why? Because basically the, the three giants of the industry are um, Unity, Godot and Unreal Engine. Uh, usually people that use Godot completely hate Unity uh, because of everything that uh, Unity has done um, are well not, not only Godot developers okay I, I didn't mean that I, I mean the fact that probably if you use Godot you wouldn't be willing to switch to Unity okay um, so yes most people actually trying out Unreal Engine I also heard some people trying out Game Maker default uh, another more but the main option was Unreal Engine and well this is something that you have to think for yourself because once again we have to remember from from the last slide the fact that everything factually started as a Twitter drama and nothing more than that everything continued smoothly um, but well also Unreal can be a little bit complicated for people that is used to a super easy um, beginner friendly interface programming language and workflow and that is why others have uh, tried to use Game Maker. Game Maker can't, uh, can't be used for 3D games at least in a quite smooth way it is mostly focused completely on 2D but it is also let's say much a uh, closer option to go that because it, it also shares like um, that thing of being easy and beginner friendly okay um, but well those are all questions that if I were you, I would really consider um, and and, the, and also besides making like a, a final decision I would really encourage you to just sit back a little bit breathe a little bit and chill out a little bit because this isn't the end of the world and Godot uh, hasn't answered to anything for something like two weeks okay after their kind of apology that they wanted to give out or, or something like that so when they answer probably they are going to say something quite interesting so i would wait uh, at least until that happens okay and from there you can decide much much uh, wisely more wisely sorry so i am always uploading this kind of content um, and as soon as possible so if you want to be the first one on knowing the latest news about godot reddot the forks and everything make sure that you're subscribed to the channel i will see you in the next one and bye bye